Okay. Oh! Do you ever get mad when you miss a ball diving in the outfield? Well, you're in good hands. Let's go learn how to dive. I'm getting ready to walk you through five diving drills so that we can all make game-saving catches in the outfield. Slap like now. This first drill is the progression drill. Start on your knees. This drill is really good for new divers and if you just want to build up your diving hardiness. To make sure that you have a smooth dive so you don't helicopter, like I said in the learn how to slide and dive video, you want to airplane so that you don't injure yourself. Don't forget the other side. Helicopter. This next drill is the same drill, but we're standing up this time. That's why it's called progression. So you start on your knees, and then you come up, and then you work your standing to dive. <laughs> Don't forget the other side. One more. Right. Communication in the outfield is key. Outfielders, you need to be able to communicate with the other outfielders and the infielders, and you need to be able to communicate with the fence. If you don't communicate, you get concussions and per might perhaps die. No, that's bad. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I'll tell you the story. It happened right over there. Over there a little bit more. But I was running in the outfield trying to catch this ball. It was hit right in the gap. And our right fielder was running over, and I was running over full speed. And I called it, but I guess she didn't hear me. And I dove into her body, right into my rib, took me back, popped my hip out, and gave me a concussion, all in the same play. And then I played for a whole entire week with a concussion and had to sit out for nine conference games. When to dive. The best time to dive is in the gaps because you know for a fact that your teammates are going to be crisscrossing behind you and they'll be there for the backup if the ball goes by you unless you catch it diving for foul balls you might as well dive for every foul ball the only foul ball that i would recommend not diving for is if there is a winning run on third base and they can tag up and score other than that it's free outs The next row we're doing is feet first sliding catch. Good catch. <laughs> so when you're doing this drill with whomever, you will go back about, I'll say 20 feet, and I'll go back there. If your tosser is a terrible tosser, then I would recommend timing your slide because you still want to practice your sliding catches. Have you seen Forrest Gump? That scene in the jungle where they say, get down, shut up. Well, for softball, this drill is called get down, get up. So this drill is gonna be, you're gonna run, you're gonna sprint as fast as you can, your coach is gonna say, down. And then you're gonna dive or slide, and then you get up as fast as you possibly can, run to the ball that's down there, and you wanna pick it up like it's got hit off the fence. So you wanna 
want to get around it. Make sure you have a good angle to your target. Pick it up. Throw. Anticipation in softball is reading the batter. So on the batter, you have to read their swing, read what pitches they've been swinging at, see what they're liking. You also need to know what pitch the pitcher is throwing. You want to know where that ball could go if the batter's going to hit it so that you have already a jump on that ball. No matter how fast or slow, not slow, savvy, am I right, ladies, of a runner you are, being able to anticipate a ball in the outfield will make you fast. In all those drills where your coach is like, stop cheating, stop, don't cheat. It's never cheating, it's always just anticipation. This next drill is called the triangle drill. So, first throw, you're gonna be drop stepping to whichever side, back, first corner. Second corner, you're gonna be running straight across like this, and they're gonna throw you another ball. That's the second corner. Third corner, you're gonna run straight into your tosser, and then you're gonna do a sliding catch. End of triangle. And go. Nailed it. hurts a lot less when you actually catch it. <laughs> now you've learned five diving drills, or six, I don't know. But if you practice these drills, you will be amazing at diving and you will make so many game-winning catches. Thanks for watching my video, everybody. Now, I need you to slap like now, hit that subscribe button, and slap that bell. We'll see you later, slap happy. You don't want to do this too many times. Why do you do it? <laughs> you want to learn how to. You want to learn how to catch balls in the outfield diving. Oh my God! So bad.